Hello, it's Monday, and a few months ago I posted a video called The Fastest Redstone Clock Too Fast for the Game, and yeah, at the time I thought that was the fastest redstone clock. And well, as of now, it is no longer named The Fastest Redstone Clock, it is renamed Fast Redstone Clock because there are actually clocks that are faster. The clock I showcased was this one. Uh, this is actually a more compacted version of the same clock, but it is the same idea, it's the same clock. And yeah, this is pretty fast, but it certainly is not the fastest. About a week after I made the video, I got this comment from Reversed Gravity, who told me that there are actually faster clocks in the game. In the comments, he linked a video from Pi31415, it goes on for a few digits, and this person created this very strange machine that looks something like this. Now, I couldn't get this machine to work because it only works in certain areas of the world. I don't know, it's very strange. It only works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. And you have to move it if it doesn't work. And I didn't want to move it, but it was- it looked something like this. Now in my video, I actually showcased this clock right here. It was something very similar. There were like redstone torches at the bottom instead of a redstone block. But it was actually the same clock. And in that video, I said this was the fastest redstone clock before I made this clock. But ironically, they're actually the same speed. Now let me play this real quick, and you can see, it definitely doesn't seem as fast. Or at least it doesn't sound as fast. Like, that's clearly faster, right? And, uh, kind of. You see, this is actually twice as fast, or at least it seems like it, because if you go over here, if you look really closely, very closely, in fact, let me slow down time by lagging the game, and you can see that for every note, there's two notes. That's right, and the reason this happens is because this very strange glitchy machine, which once again only works in specific areas of the world, I don't know why this works, it really shouldn't, because what it's doing is there are two pistons going at the exact same time, and it's pushing this redstone block over here and then back here at the same tick, which gives you two signals per tick. In fact, if you look really close, you can even see the redstone block kind of phase here every so often for, like, one frame. And so this may be half as fast looking as that clock over there, but there's two notes for every note, making it just as fast. Now, the person in the video had two of these clocks. It, as you can see, this kind of looks like there's two of them. And basically, there would be two clocks feeding the same redstone signal into one note block, giving me a 20 hertz clock. It's a clock that goes 10 times a second, but there's actually two notes per note, making it 20 times a second. On top of this, there's also this clock, which I found in an Il Mango video, that is 20 hertz. It goes 20 times a second. This note block is activated 20 times a second, and there's no weird glitchiness like that one over there. So I thought to myself, what if I combined this really fast clock with the glitchiness of these clocks to create one super clock? And that is what I've done here. You can already see how this clock works. There are three glitchy panels, and they all put the redstone signals into one note block. Now, why are there three modules instead of four? Well, as you can see over here, there are three pistons for this clock. Why are there three pistons? Here's why. Now, the fastest that pistons can be moved is once every three game ticks. So if you have three pistons, you can do it once every one game tick and one game tick is a 20th of a second, so that's what allows this note block to be activated 20 times a second. It's the same idea here. These pistons can only be fired once every three game ticks, and there's three of them. So they're all being fired to make a signal that is once every game tick. But as we discussed, because these are really glitchy, it actually gives you two signals and not one. So this is what you get, a 40 hertz clock. This means that it activates 40 times every second, which is twice as fast as the video that reversed gravity linked to me. Uh, the video that was made by through Pi31415. So that video showcases a 20 hertz clock. This is a 40 hertz clock. So I'm gonna go ahead and slow down time here, and I'm also gonna activate this machine over here. We already know that this is a 20 hertz clock, and listen closely. They sound just as fast, but remember, this clock gives you two notes for every note. So, this is twice as fast as that, 
which also makes it twice as fast as that, which makes it 40 hertz. So what can I do with a 40 hertz clock? Perhaps make an indestructible piston that really cannot be destroyed. I'm, I'm clicking very fast right now, and I had to break the redstone in order to break the machine. In fact, now the machine's broken. Fun. <laughs> So yeah, you can make a pretty indestructible piston. I'm really clicking right now. I'm clicking at about 13 CPS. That's how fast I click. And I just can't destroy this. I just can't. In order to destroy it, I have to destroy the redstone and then destroy the piston. Let's look at this hole I create under it. The most obvious thing you can do is make note block spam. Now this you can do for several reasons. The first thing you can do is to make the note block sound like the note is being held, which it definitely does. It definitely sounds like the note block is being held. The single note is like a really long note instead of there being several notes. And that's one use for it. Now another use for this... Yeah. That's not pleasant. You can make something like that underneath your friend's base and... It will drive them crazy. They might even just quit the game. I mean, that is that is a terrible sound. There are other uses for this. For example, let's grab a door. This door, you can walk through. But guess what can't walk through it? A zombie. Yeah, that's right. A zombie won't actually be able to walk through this door for whatever reason. So, that's that. That also applies to skeletons and other mobs such as that. And also, it works for fence gates. So, isn't that cool? You can also use it for something along the lines of... If you want to have a fence gate that's always open no matter what, you can do this, and it will always be open. You can try closing it, and it just won't close. One thing that you can do with this machine is combine all the signals, and it still works, just as before. So you don't have to have three signals going into one thing, you can just have one signal going out. And there you go. Now what I think is bizarre about this is that the line looks like it's being activated, but if you look closely, it's it's not. It's being... it's kind of like vibrating really quickly, and... That's pretty cool. This is kind of like the same effect that was produced with my fastest clock, quote-unquote fastest clock, which we now know isn't the fastest clock. Uh, the clock over there, it actually looks like, if I activate it right now, which I can, you can see that it looks like this redstone is being constantly powered, which it's not. Now, I don't know why, but this redstone looks like it's being powered a lot more than it does that one. Even though it's many times slower. I don't know why that is. For here, you can see that it's like... It's clearly like getting darker and brighter constantly. But this one, it does actually look like it's being powered. So, I don't know why that is, but... Who knows? I mean, these two clocks practically break the game. I mean, that clock looks like the redstone's being held. And this one, it's, it's faster than the game. It's actually faster than it should be. <laughs> I mean, there are only 20 game ticks per second, like, those are the fundamental ticks. That is how fast things are in the game. But, not anymore. <laughs> this clock is quite literally faster than the game. So the way that you turn this thing on and off, well, you kind of can't. Because it's really finicky, and it's really weird to try to turn on and off. So what I did to turn this on and off is I, I slowed down the game, and I broke all of this stuff. Now, theoretically, you could do this whether the game is slowed down or not. In fact, I have done it before. It's not too tricky. So if you want to turn this on, um, you just have to have really good timing or luck. Now, if you don't want to slow down time to break the redstone block, you can always just break this redstone uh, here and it would just stop it. Now, once I've done this, I'm going to do this while the time is being slowed down. I want to activate these to where they alternate. So I kind of want to remove that bridging redstone there. Just so I can see each and individual redstone line. So I want to time it to where they're alternating. So now there's two alternating. I want a third one alternating. That does not alternate. You see these two are going at the same time. So let's remove that. If I, if I can. There we go. I removed it. And let's just keep trying until our luck is good to where this happens. To where there are three alternating it, it almost looks like a wave going this way, and then now you can speed the time back up and it works. Now to show you that this works normally as well, without slowing down time, I'm actually going to uh, have time at normal time. I have the tick speed normally, and I'm just going to do this like it should be. So you can see here, it's doing it like that. 
those are the same. So I don't want that. So I'm gonna have to remove this. That does not seem correct. So I gotta do it again. And there we go. Just like that. Those do look alternating. Yep, they're alternating. And there you go, I did it without even slowing down time. Now I'm very sure that you can automate this process. You can use pistons to pull the block out, which is actually what I did here. If you saw earlier, I, I pulled the block in and out, which is what I did. Uh, it doesn't work half the time, but yeah, it, it, that does work. You can also block these lines off to turn it off, which is what the person in the video who showcased the weird glitchy 20 hertz clock, uh, who would be Pi31415, uh, that's also what they did, they blocked off the signal using pistons like this. And so yeah, there's definitely a way to automate that process and not make you like guess and be lucky to turn the entire machine on, but it is the fastest in the game. There are quite a few uses for it that are uh, pretty useful, uh, and if annoying your friend is useful, then yeah, very useful. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, it's not so terribly useful, but it is pretty good if you're trying to make the note block holding sound you want to make the piano that works or something. I, I don't know. It's pretty good. Maybe you want to like hold a note block note for a song, a note block sound song or something. You could definitely do that. Uh, another thing you can do is you could just not turn off the machine and instead cover the note block with the block. That will mute the note block and then you can play it again. And of course you can always extend the signal to where you can't hear the pistons anymore. Um, and then you can from there, play the note block. It actually doesn't work, it has to be, I guess we hear. So yeah, uh, if you're far away enough, far enough away, then it'll actually work without hearing the pistons. And then you could mute the note block. You won't hear a single thing. So there you go. That being said, there isn't much else I can say about this clock. Um, there are definitely uses for it. I might use these uses, but this is a massive clock that, you know, it takes a long time to, like, deactivate. If you leave and join the server, it'll probably break at one point, because this clock definitely does, so this clock probably will as well. It's a hassle to activate, but it is the fastest possible clock. I'm sure you could automate the way to turn it on and off. But as of now, I'm not doing that. That is too much work, too much glitching I have to use. I mean, this is already enough of a glitch, and yeah, I feel like I'm going to need another glitch to activate it and deactivate it, so that's that. Theoretically, you could use leaves. Uh, theoretically, you could use leaves and logs because those update at a one game thick interval. You could also use this little synth, uh, this little machinery, machinery here. You can make it to where... It does this, where it separates them by one tick. Um, I, I don't know. Something like that is gonna work. So yeah, that's all I have for this video. There's not much I can do with So yeah, that's all I have for this video. It's sort of like an update for my fast redstone clock video. And have your eye out, or your notifications on, per se. Because I'm going to make a new snapshot video. Um, my snapshot videos aren't, you know, showcasing the snapshot. It's rather me doing something silly with the snapshot. And what I'm doing is most definitely silly. The video will be out tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys then. See ya. Oh, I can't wait to log on to my SMP and play with my friends. Can't wait to spawn in my house. Are you, are, you, are you kidding me? Are you, are you actually serious right now? Who the heck did this? Who did this? This is my ears!